Young Phil's got another one. Let your kids drive them. Very good point. And are you going to dob Dad in here at the moment, or are you just going to...? I probably got a better job. <laughs> yeah, you can see there's no shyness for me here. I've got lots of pictures of the kids on tractors, which to me is just, it's a no-go zone. All right, rollover protection. Um, major cause of death in tr with tractors is rollover protection systems are not in place, so ROPs we call them, rollover protection structures. Um, when tractors roll over and people get killed underneath them, it's usually pretty much the you know, same story every time. Most of our tractors these days have these things we call ROPs here. They can be retrofitted, they can be four posted, they can be two posters, and the whole idea is if the tractor does roll over, at least it's not going to squash you, we hope so long as you stay somewhere in the zone that's being protected by the rollover frame and you're not going to fall outside that and then end up the same way. Um, when we look at a lot of modern tractors these days, they've got these little collapsible type ROPS frames here as well, uh, which are designed for when going underneath trees and that type of thing, or in orchards. What I am concerned about with tractors is a lot of these newer tractors, particularly these um, imported ones, compared to the old masses and the John Deere's, they're actually pretty light. Okay, and often they've got hydraulics which are sort of beyond the, the ballast capacity of the tractor. So I'm, I'm quite concerned about, and I'll go to the next photo here, when we start to put a fair bit of load on them and we start to lift the centre of gravity up on these machines, they become very unstable very quickly, and particularly in hill country. So we've got to really think about what we're doing when we're carting things like hay around on tractors where you've got this effect. And I can tell you, if you're driving that tractor with probably 350 kilos on the front and on the back, that thing's just going to be rocking backwards and forwards as you go across the paddock. And so we need to sort of think a little bit about, well, this is all very well. You've got a more efficient system of carting hay out there because you can do two bales at the one time. But this is actually a really smart thing to do given what you're actually going across the paddock and, and how you're going across the paddock and the level of instability. What's happening here once we start to lift bales up? What's, what becomes the problem? Centre of gravity goes up. As our centre of gravity goes up, we lose stability. A lot of the earlier deaths with round bales is where the early um, non-spikes in them basically just a fork that just went underneath the bale they lifted up was the, the bales would come up and they'd roll off the back of the front end loader, come down across the, back of the canopy, hit the person sitting on the tractor and either break their neck or kill them. Okay? Now for the most part most tractors have these spikes which go into that and that's a good thing too. Also they'll sometimes have these level load type things which actually keeps the, level, the load level rather than going up too high. So what's going on with rollovers? I've talked a bit about so far just about centre of gravity, but we also have to look at what can go wrong with a tractor when it comes to flipping over for other reasons. It's not all just about steep hills. This, this thing can happen on flat country as well. And what we've got here is a tractor that's basically pulling itself over. And we've got this thing here, a critical point of no return, which we call the moment of inertia. About three quarters of a second to get to the head, about one and a half seconds to go the whole way. 